Hi, this is Armando with the Boxing Corner. Um, doing a review of the fight that happened yesterday between uh, Tyson Fury and Vidi Matalom. It was a fight that was in the middle of. <clears throat> I was kind of stuck between the the Kell and the Carson fight, and the uh, Vladimir and Tony Thompson fight. So I didn't get a I didn't get a chance to watch it. And right now it's 9:30 in the morning, and I go to this website that I usually uh, watch uh, fights. It's it's a really kick-ass website where you can go and, and within 24 hours they have a bunch of fights. You know, anything from the smaller fights to even the, the much bigger fights. They already have the Kell Brook and the, the Vladimir fight up. So I woke up and I, and I, and I watched it. Um, I had already know. I already knew what happened uh, because of Twitter. People were talking about it um, a little bit earlier yesterday. But I still wanted to watch it for myself. So I ended up uh, finding it, watched it, and um, <laughs> Tyson Fury just, um, it's, it was pretty much five rounds of him completely dominating this Vinny Madalone guy. I don't know anything about this Vinny Madalone. He looks like he's much older, probably in his mid to late 30s it seems. Uh, and Tyson, you know, a six foot nine, towered over this Vinny Madalone. And you get pretty much what Tyson has been doing to a lot of his opponents, just pure out domination. It was four rounds, a grand total of five rounds, but the four rounds uh, was obviously, like I said, all Tyson. Tyson cut him in the eye. He had a he had a cut right here, and he was bleeding on Tyson. Not a lot, but he he was uh, bleeding a little bit on Tyson. Fifth round kicked in, the ref stopped it. He he was taking a lot of punishment. He was taking a lot of punishment. Mm, the ref, maybe he might have stopped. Yeah, he might have stopped it maybe a little bit too early. As as bad as it sounds, sometimes like sometimes the ref either stops it a little too early or they wait till the guy has had a little bit too much punishment. So it's kind of a fine line. And I felt I, I don't want to say Tyson should have pounded this guy some more to to hurt him, but it felt a little bit kind of prematureish, but regardless the ref stopped it and that ref I remember that ref um, I didn't like that ref but in this fight he he was pretty good I, I, I like that he didn't he was so uh, in, intrusive because there was one fight I saw that he was just I mean they would literally lock in and he would separate them separate them separate them and he wouldn't let fighters fight an inside fight and I hate that um, Steve Smoger Kenny Bayless um, those guys are, are real good refs. Uh, they let these guys just let let them fight. You know, let them fight. If they have an inside game, they have an inside game. If they don't, they don't. But regardless, it was for a, a vacant um, WBO intercontinental, intercontinental belt. So maybe with that, Vinny may not Vinny, but maybe Tyson may fight for a, a world title. Um, I, I think the Klitschko's have more than than asked. Tyson, if he wants to step up, he can come get it. And I don't think Tyson, uh, to my knowledge, has uh, has spoken about it or more, it, just in general, hasn't stepped up. Um, Tyson looks huge, man. He, I think he's like six nine. He's a real big dude. He'd even tower over the Klitschko's. Um, good thing. The thing about Tyson is that he looked in really good shape. He didn't look flabby. He looks like he's starting to tone up. Like he he's he's starting to look like a heavyweight not just a super heavyweight like you know a fat guy you know fighting in the heavyweight division uh, that's very good you can tell he's starting to lean up and he start, he's not starting to get bulky but he's leaning up you know um, yeah he, he should um, I think he has expressed that he would like to fight the winner of Chisora and David Hay which I would definitely like to see that he has beat Chisora. He beat him convincingly. Um, David Hay, obviously he hasn't fought David Hay. Um, but if, if, if that fight doesn't happen, I would like to see Tyson. I know your people are probably tired of hearing this. Him fight David Price. He, he didn't end up fighting David Price. He vacated his belt uh, to fight for a Celtic belt. And then now he's fighting for an intercontinental belt. But he'll fight um, Alexander Povetkin. Uh, fight uh, Hellenius, uh, Price, or the winner of Chisora and Hay. Those are four fights that I think would be rich for him in his career. 
Um, I would like to see him even fight Chisora again, you know, because even though Chisora is kind of a, a a bad boy, so to speak, I, I like the way he fights. You know, he he just doesn't give a fuck. But to Tyson Fury, um, he looked good like he always does against much n against competition that isn't his equal. He fights, uh, you know, if if he's a a, a B fighter, B level fighter. B minus fighter. He's fighting a C or a D level fighters, in my opinion, and he needs to start fighting people, you know, in, in his in his circle of of uh, expertise. Uh, should he fight Klitschko's? I would like him too, but I don't know if he can win. But you know, Chisora took Chisora, Chisora took the uh, the challenge, but whatever. You know, Tyson he he controls his own future. He's the one in the ring. Uh, who the fuck am I? You know, I'm just some guy wanting to see fights. You know, but regardless, it was a it was a good fight for Tyson. Uh, not so good for Benny. And um, that that's it for for the video. Um, this is Armando with the boxing corner, and I'll see you next time.